Koji Igarashi has left Konami. Iga has left Konami. If you don't know who he is, well, he is the main guy. He was like the main producer of the Castlevania series for Konami uh, from pretty much uh, Symphony of the Night. He served as, I think it was an assistant director or something like that. Um, this is me. I didn't check anything out as per usual. I know he, he had a special thanks on Rondo of Blood, so he was involved somewhat in, in that game, but he came on uh, more, more prominently with uh, Symphony of the Night, and then he stayed on all the way until Harmony of Despair, and then it switched um, to the new developer, and then ever since then, that new developer, who I, their name just totally... I'm drawing a blank right now, but they're basically in charge of the Castlevania series as of right now. So. This is interesting, like, why did he leave? Well, there's a lot of, like, you know, speculation that he was basically, he was responsible for the Castlevania series, and it was doing phenomenally well. Every single one was doing really well, so I guess he felt, well, you know, the series that I was the most involved in has been sort of ripped away from me now, given to a Western uh, developer, or the European. Maybe a European developer, I'm not... Anyways, the point is that he wasn't involved in the Castlevania series at all anymore. And uh, a lot of fans, myself included, really liked that style that he had going for the Castlevania games. That Metroidvania sort of style. And also, some of the like anime-type inspired uh, look to it, that like goth anime look, was really, really awesome. And so... He worked on some of my favorite Castlevania games. I mean, Rondo of Blood, I don't know how involved, like I said, he was with that particular game. That game was amazing. Symphony of the Night, it remains one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time. And I'm a huge fan of the Castlevania series, and I still say that's one of the best Castlevania games ever released. Um, he worked on Castlevania Chronicles and, and then all, all the other games. And so like it's pretty damn amazing you know like i just sort of sad that uh he left konami and he says that he's done this primarily so that he can you know pursue pursue projects that he thinks fans are really going to enjoy and that uh just you know that people can get rally behind and support and i'm hoping that he can make a a sort of goth anime style um metroidvania type of game i would love that uh it doesn't have to be castlevania i mean for goodness sakes you could you could literally make symphony of the night and just not call it castlevania you know what i mean like any of those type of games you could still have dracula and all these type of characters you just couldn't use simon belmont or the belmont clan or any of them but who cares this guy makes such amazing games that i would really like to see a return to form for Iga, and I'm hoping that uh, that he now has the opportunity to do that. And it's it's just it's disappointing, you know. I was thinking of this the other day, how so many amazing developers who did like their best work with certain companies um, have left. If you hear any uh, crying, that's the COE mascot. He's saying hello. Um, but yeah, you know, like, uh, Yu Suzuki with Sega, like, this guy was unbelievable, like, revolutionized arcades with, like, Space Harrier, um, Virtual Fighter, of course, Shenmue, for a lot of you guys who really love that series, uh, Yuji Naka with, uh, Sonic, and, and, you know, like, the list just goes on and on and on, it's like sort of saying, like, you know, Miyamoto leaving Nintendo, you'd be like, what? And it's, it's just, it's sad to see, like, some guy who was just so influential on a particular series um, just say goodbye to the company. And it just goes to show, like, these big, huge companies, how times are really changing. I mean, these action-adventure type games, if it, basically any game, if it doesn't sell, it just sort of gets brushed aside. And I'm, I'm disappointed with that, because I really, really love this guy's... Uh, 
sort of style and I loved his take on the Castlevania series so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what comes next both for the Castlevania series and particularly for uh, for Iga's future I'm really interested to see where he goes and what he works on and it'll be neat to follow so what do you guys think of this news it's sad that uh, he left Konami but um, what do you think this has uh, has to do with the Castlevania series. Do you, do you like the new direction the Castlevania series has taken? Or would you rather see it go back to the Metroidvania style? And like I say, what about Iga? Are you going to be following him? Are you going to be uh, curious to see what he's uh, working on next? Um, by all means, leave a comment. And let's get a good conversation going. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next video.